Hey everyone and welcome back. So I am doing a review of a title I'm very excited to have and that is the new 4K release of William Lustig's Vigilante. And the slipcover has one of those lenticular covers. Hope you can see that okay as I'm sort of turning it here. I know the light might be blurring some of it a little bit. And just real quick, there's a quick look at the back. And this is one I've been uh, hoping they would do as soon as Blue Underground started uh, releasing 4K releases. Uh, so real quick, it does have the lenticular slipcover, which I think is only for for the first pressing and then the inside and uh, it does have a reversible cover so I did reverse the inside to show the original poster artwork and the back is the same as the slipcover and here's a quick look at the inside so there's uh, the 4k disc there in the front and behind it is the blu-ray disc and it does actually come with a booklet on some writing on the film and one thing I did like is on uh, towards the back of it did have this nice little uh, dedication to Robert Forster including some pictures from various roles just a nice little touch I thought so Vigilante was William Lustig's uh, second film it's one he did after Main he had a little bit more money to do it, uh, but not much. It was still a very low budget film and still one that they did do independently. But obviously it was enough for them to get uh, a couple of known actors, obviously Robert Forster, Fred Williamson. And Fred Williamson's character uh, leads a group of vigilantes who sort of go around, you know, sort of taking care of the criminals that uh, the police won't. And the Robert Forster character has his family assaulted by a gang and believes that the system will work, uh, but he's sort of put through the ringer until finally he uh, is convinced that, uh, yeah, taking the law into his own hands is the way to go. That's just a quick overview of the film. I'm a huge, huge fan of Vigilante. Have been since I saw it uh, many years ago. Now, luckily, Vigilante has actually had uh, some good success on video, and I think part of that does have to do with the fact that I believe William Lustig has actually had control of the elements for the film, so he's been able to keep them well-preserved over the years. So each time the film has come out on video, it actually has looked pretty good. In fact, the last uh, Blu-ray release, the Blue Underground did of it uh, several years ago. Uh, I thought it was like, I don't think the film could look any better than this. Uh, this one is very special to me because I actually do have it autographed by William Lustig. I hope you can see that okay. It's in silver. So I will be holding on to this copy. But now we are in the 4K arena. And uh, just when I thought this film couldn't look any better, I was wrong because here comes Blue Underground with their 4K magic that they seem to be doing with other releases. And because the film elements have been kept uh, so well, even though uh, it does have some of the limitations of being a low budget film from uh, the early 80s. So it is gonna be extra grainy and stuff, uh, which was just common uh, to film stock that was used during that time. Uh, the grain has not been scrubbed away. It actually kept it intact, but because they did a proper transfer, it's just a very much more um, fine grain so it's not, you know, big blotches over the screen. Film looks very, very clear. The only time uh, there's anything is really, uh, which is just part of the original elements, which you can obviously if there's a, a dissolve or a fade or something along those lines, you know, that process back then was done in a lab. So there's always a lack of quality for that brief moment. And that's very, very common. And I'm glad they didn't try and like clean it up or anything. They kind of left it as is. And it's only a couple shots in the film. But again, they did do their magic and really cleaned it up really Really well without compromising anything in the film itself. It still looks like film, still looks like it was shot on film, and it just really has that grittiness that the film has always had, but it still is not messy, you know, it's not dirty and messy in the wrong ways. And the new transfer definitely shows off the work of uh, James Lummo, who was the cinematographer on the film. I think he actually was a cinematographer on several of uh, William Lustig's films. And the film itself just looks so good in 4K, just like Blue Underground has been doing with some of their previous releases. I mean, they're really the ones that are taking full advantage of the format and I think we're really doing it the right way and doing it really well. Also comes with a couple audio options. Uh, it has a brand new Dolby Atmos track. It also has the 5.1 DTS track, which is the one that I think has been around now for uh, several releases, and that's a good track as well. And it also has uh, the original stereo track as well, the original theatrical stereo track. And the Dolby Atmos uh, track was actually uh, pretty good. I mean, it uh, definitely has a uh, power behind it. But the nice thing is whatever you choose to listen to, it definitely has the option there. And it does port over uh, the pre-existing extras as well as have uh, a couple new ones. So it ports over some of the previous stuff uh, you know, trailers and TV spots and radio spots, as well as the promo reel that we that was used to help raise money for the film, which is basically the first scene in the film 
uh, was actually the promo reel. As two audio commentary tracks, one of them is with William Lustig and producer Andrew Garoni, and the other one it ports over, which is one of my favorites. Uh, it's one I've loved for a long time, and that is uh, with William Lustig, Robert Forster, Fred Williamson, and Frank Pesh, and that one, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about this, but I think that one actually might even go back to the Laserdisc days. I think that was actually recorded for a Laserdisc release like in the late 90s, maybe. So it's been around for a while, but it's a great Great one. But also has a brand new commentary track uh, that has been added. And that new one is with Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson, as well as two new featurettes. Uh, one of them is with composer Jay Chataway, which is a really, really good one. And by the way, in there, he does express why there is no CD release, um, which I was kind of bummed about because, again, I was like kind of hoping there would be like an included CD of the score because the score has never been released. Unfortunately, the master tapes uh, are missing, presumably gone, but they, or they're hoping they're, they're just missing and they can find eventually and unfortunately they can't just take the music track from the film because the music and the sound effects were mixed together into one track rather than being two so it's like oh you got to be kidding me because i would love a cd release of the score but it's a great interview with jay chataway and the other extra is let me make sure i get the name right blue collar death wish and it's a really good uh featurette that interviews uh, several people associated with the film and if i had any complaint was that it was actually too short they talked Talk to uh, several people and including Robert Forster, for example, and it's just like some of them barely say anything. And I kind of wish there was just a little bit more because it's like I was kind of really getting into it. And then it sort of wrapped up and finished. And I was like, oh, man, it's kind of one of those where I think it literally could have been twice as long. Now, I don't know if that was possible. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they may have been able to just do as much as they could. But being such a big fan of the film, I would have loved like a longer featurette on it. So just a quick uh, two cents on what I think of the new 4K release of Vigilante, which uh, again is fantastic. You know, it's got a nice Dolby Vision HDR transfer from the original negative. It's got that new Dolby Atmos track, it's got some new extras. It looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic. It's a film I love and this 4K release for me is definitely very worth it. I mean, another winner from Blue Underground. I mean, they just seem to be knocking these out of the park. So definitely super excited for any future 4K releases uh, coming from Blue Underground. It looks like they have quite a few in the works. That's the subject for another video. So if you're a fan of Vigilante, I highly recommend uh, this release. If you've never seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're a fan of uh, sort of retribution films and everything. The nice thing about Vigilante is that it has that sort of grittiness to it, but it's also very much inspired by like um, Italian films, which I'm, as some of you know, I'm a huge fan of Italian crime films and some of the spaghetti westerns and stuff. And I'm a huge fan of revenge films too. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know, whatever that says about me. So this new 4K release of Vigilante from Blue Underground definitely is very highly recommended for me. If you have any questions about it, definitely let me know. And let me know if you're planning to pick it up or if you've already picked it up already. Let me know your thoughts. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.